Hello and welcome. Today we'll be looking at getting onto our NetLab remote access system. First thing we need to do is go to netlab.boxhill.edu.au. Type that in your web browser. You've been, your username is your student number and you've all been given a temporary password. So log on to that password. Now that's a temporary password. So once you've logged in, you'll see that it wants you to give you a new unique password. Please use a password you'll remember. It's nice and unique because this is your password, private and secret just to you. So create it accordingly. Here you need to enter your email address. The NetLab system has stores files and screenshots and records of your work and that can be emailed to you. So make sure you use your student email address. Once you've logged in, the most important thing is to set your time zone. This is an American product, so it defaults to an American time zone. And if you make a booking, it will be several hours out. So make sure you set the time zone to Melbourne. Now your account is set up and ready to use. So this is the home screen. So let's have a look at the top menu. We've got help, we've got schedule. You can schedule for yourself or teams view stuff you've done in the past, configure your own personal profile. There's also another schedule button in the bottom left hand corner. If you're in a team, you can book for your team or you can book individually. So make a selection and choose for yourself. If you're in multiple classes, you'll see the class list. If you're in one class, you'll see the labs associated with just that one class. Over here on the right is a little action button. This it gives you a preview of the lab, as well as being able to schedule directly. So these are the instructions, all the instructions you need to work your way through that lab are built in to NetLab. Or you just click on the name of the lab and that will launch you to the scheduler. Now there are multiple pods. There's a little button over on the right you can scroll through. But the most important thing is that red line, that's right now. So if you click anywhere below that line, that's in the future. So if I click there now, It'll be 45 minutes in the future. I don't want that. I want it now. So you've got to move the mouse as close to the red line as possible and click. And then that's right now. Next, you can schedule the end time. It's a good idea to give yourself a bit of leeway. A couple of hours, maximum four hours. And always give yourself 30 minutes end of the, at the end of the booking. Because you might run over time, you might get distracted. It's always nice to have that little buffer at the end. So once you're ready, you've picked your date and your time. Good to go, just click on the submit button and that's you've made a schedule for this booking. So that reservation is now scheduled. Once you click OK, it takes you back to the home screen where you can see your reservations. If they're in the future, they'll have time and date stamps and if they're active now, the big green enter lab button is available. Depending on what lab, it might take a few seconds or up to three minutes to spin up, but now you've got your environment ready to go just for you to use. This is an example from 21989. The topology button shows you the topology. Sometimes it's a good idea to open the content in a new tab, just so you've got different tabs if you've got multiple monitors, but this is just the PDF. This is the instructions. There's also the status tab, and that tells you all your systems are on or off. If they hang or crash, you can even have an option to use this action button to power cycle the device. All of the icons should have hotspots. So if you choose to click on them, they'll launch, but they're also listed along the top. So this one has five systems and they're listed along the top by their name. Or you can just go across to here and click on the hotspot and that takes you directly to that system itself. Now sometimes they don't quite fit on the screen properly and nicely. So there's a little tiny arrow which gives you options like undock, which opens it a new window, rescale it, take a screenshot. Sometimes you might have a big monitor so you want to have more space. 
Now, with your reservation, if you're running out of time, you can request more time. Or if you're using the same topology for multiple exercises, you can change the lab. Or you're ready to finish, just click on end reservation. And there you go, your reservation has ended. And now this pod is available for another student to use. So you just click on OK, and that takes you back to the home screen. And as you can see, there are no more reservations left. So thank you very much for watching. Please log into NetLab, customize your account, and start booking your labs 24-7 access throughout Australia and New Zealand. Thank you.